isn't that it's illegal or unethical, it's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. Dangerous meds. What the? Go away! Hey. You It's all right. Don't be afraid, little girl. Randella kidnapped. I'm a friend, okay? Vita, no hurt. Sock puppet theater. Hey. Vita, no hurt. Take the puppets. Once upon a time, yeah, sure. once upon a time, there was a brave seafaring little girl called Brunhilda. Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy," <laughs> said Brunhilda. Huh. This is and taking then Brunhilda, a turn. who had a beautiful name, really beautiful, a really beautiful name, ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? A sea cat. A sea cat called John. I'm a sea cat. My name is John. <laughs> Hi, John the cat. I really like sea cats. Hi, Brunhilda. I'm going to use my sea fairy wisdom to help you. Get out of a cage, too. No, he's sad. You say silly things, John the cat. So, what are you going to help me do? Bake some delicious pies. Ha, ha, ha. I love pies. Which is your favorite? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite pie is... Apple. Apple! Whoa, Brunelda. Mm. That's exactly what I was about to say. John Brunhilda Front <laughs> Do play each look <laughs> uh, Okay Hi bird Why are you wearing that mask? Well Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, Bird? And what about you, Brunhilda? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that? Uh... He fell asleep. Actually, ah, oh, shoot. You're not allowed down here. You know you're not allowed. It's... You bastard. I should kill you right here, right now. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You ruined Craig Spano's career. Why? I, uh, I did it all for her. For Brunhilda, my daughter. She was born with a degenerative disease, a rare condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. 
There are only uh. four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reach the age of five. But I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes. It also seems to improve their pain threshold. Somehow, the Reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create super soldiers. <laughs> yes, Nazis that tried. Reich. We're talking late 30s Berlin. I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country. But the American military also heard about me. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs and Brunhilde got worse. But then, God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes, and he would sell them. With my earnings, mm. I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? What are the long-term effects? What are the long-term effects of those drugs? It depends on the patient, but they all develop an addiction, even Brunhilde. They also suffer other symptoms. Some become delirious. She's losing muscle mass by the day. Others lose their ability to focus, and some, slowly but surely, lose it all. About those pills. Side effects. Okay. What? The piece of paper? There was a bottle there before. He took one. Oh, wait. Did. I think Craig Spano took it, or whatever his name is. What is he looking at? Back to normal? Uh-oh. Ah! Don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with Papa, honey. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry about this, Josh, but... We gave it our best, didn't we? Huh? What? What do you mean, Angus? I wish... It hadn't come to this. Angus, what's wrong? Bye, Josh. They were good people. Ah! 
I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. You're so far from the truth. What the? Tap. Which I was trapped in the basement. Oh, you missed. Stupid. Oh, shot. Dead. <laughs> the end. All right, we'll try. Try again. I hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. You're so far from the truth. What the? Go, 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 go. go. a hard punch. Uh, get the gas mask. The mask would buy me a bit of extra time. The question was, how much? Mitchell suffocated. Don't have time for this. Spano just ran out that way. Keep going. Give up. The mask was barely working. I needed fresh air. Take it off. I knew it. I knew he was a good guy. Their eyes look crazy. Vano stopped the fan with his bad arm. Vano strength. Actually made it out of there. Does that mean Mitchell's dead? Craig Spano is back! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Who wants to see a home run? <laughs> now you're gonna see! Bring it on! Let's 
down! <laughs> he is high as a <laughs> His heart. Everything you could to save Spano. Oh man. Died shortly after recovering his strength. Bam. I love how the police force are all dogs. <laughs> Say so a golden retriever. Uh, Don't torture pitbull. yourself. You did everything you could. <laughs> Whatever make it? Is, color they're called. Spanos. The thing. doctors think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. Cops what? found Gil. What's that basement door? Uh, okay, let's see. Spano stopped the fan with his bed arm and uh, trapped in the basement. No, oh, there's so many there. Okay, so that one, maybe this one. No, okay. Maybe this and this. Okay, so he died. No. Whoops. That. That. And maybe this? No? Oh, come on. Spano. And anything else with Spano on him? I mean, we can try just these two. Could Gil have blocked the uh, basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell? You think? That's a serious accusation. Are you sure, or is this just a theory of yours? Well, it's just a theory. It's just a theory. Let's hope we get the truth out of him. Huh. You think Gil was involved in the previous murders? Uh, maybe. Let's see, sniper killed Randall. Gil had a friend. Uh, maybe it was Randall Lee. What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? That one is just a theory. No, I'm not sure yet. But it very well could be the case. Wait, couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? Yeah.
I broke kill land three. Mitchell missed two shots point blank. Yeah, there's no way. So he misses with two shots at point blank range, and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what caused Craig Spano's death. Spano's death? We know that. Spano died shortly after recovering his string. Zabata with his name on it. I... Spano stopped his arm with his bed. Uh, and physical limitations. There's no doubt about it. Spano took drugs from the lab, and they killed him. But if that were true, how many more athletes are in danger? A lot. And most importantly, who are they? Is Bobby Yale involved? Get down these names. I didn't see them all, but write down these names. Peter Lowe, Xavier Chains, Helen Moore, Bill Goldman, Miles Benton, Alexander Wood, Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Thanks. Saving lives for a change, huh? In any case, thanks for the call. I was starting to think you'd never trust the police again. You said I don't trust cops. I don't trust cops, I trust you. I don't trust the cops. I trust you. Hey, John. Surprise. <laughs> it could have given a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I help you? <laughs> Come on, Weekly. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's get this over with. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on elite athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then, he made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. When you stuck your nose in the case, he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gil to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gil upset. You kept getting closer and closer to the point of discovering his headquarters. When Mitchell realized he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. Gil saw the opportunity to get back at Mitchell, so he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. Did I leave any loose ends? Just a few, but don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. Nice. Definitely wrapping up here. Let's see what happens from there. Congrats. Achievement unlocked. In your classic noir films and novels, solve the case. Solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that before he took the case, the world was a better place. That he was a better person. Come on, now speed it out. Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew, that he was going to let Yale win, that if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career, and that Moore was doomed either way, or would be as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today, 
Nobody. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title and they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried. You could end up in jail. The drug scandal is bound to rattle the entire sporting world soon enough. At some point, the police will have to take it seriously. If you let Yale win, and they find out about O'Leary, you might even lose your freedom. It's not the worst thing I can lose. Suit yourself. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Hey, Black Sad. I'll think about it. Good, good. So I wonder if it just like starts fast forward and going through the days until the fight and then you see what happens. Cause it's, it just said 11 days. Yale confirmed to me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. In fact, I was clean at the time. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. But he discovered everything. He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Don't do it. Don't do it, Bobby. Someone has to save the gym. I owe it to Joe, and Sonia, and my Aunt Mary. You owe them integrity. The only thing you owe them is integrity. What would Dunn think of you now? Sorry about your Aunt Mary. She was a good woman. Al Stone was even a good guy, too. It wasn't that, that bad. Stone and Yale hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. <laughs> After the perfect storm of corruption and murder, only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Only that could make me believe in mankind again. Only that cleanse my soul. Only that. And money. <laughs> and money.
In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real Thorpe world. advertising. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blacksad. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? This man have any manners? Alright, I'll wait. I guess I'll just have to wait. He'll be here in a minute. Please take a seat. Put some goodness in you, start smoking. <laughs> Is that what it says? In your smoking. Like Jake. Somebody. The last like time I climbed a skyscraper, I had very different intentions. I wasn't there to claim my reward. I was there to punish someone. That's his office. No matter how many oh, curveballs Destiny throws his way, he always manages to land on his feet. When he was a rising sports talent, the war put an end to his career. So he became a war hero. After the war, he didn't end up like Gil or like me. He became an elite athlete, a Hall of Fame football star. When an accident left him in a wheelchair, he went on to succeed in advertising. He's very good at what he did. It's a boardroom. Peter Lowe. Miles Benton. Helen Moore. Julia Stlaponix. Alistar. Jacob Ziegler. Frank Lopey. For Pirates Athletes for advertising campaigns. What if he knows? What if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blacksad, Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure, as long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description, but... There's something right there. Sam, Merrick, Sonia, Black Sad, dinner with the mayor. Ah, October 17th. <laughs> so it's the day before the fight. All Thorpe's appointments are in his agenda. is right there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda yo what's going on Natuka it's basically like have you ever played a telltale game <laughs> it's pretty much a story driven game with choices where the the guy you play as black sad he's a cat and uh, he's a detective so I'm pretty much near the end of the game but he, uh, it's really interesting, actually. If I had her <laughs> markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? Like, all the characters are different animals and stuff, so, like, it looks like a, a kid's game, but, like, it actually touches on a lot of stuff. It's, it's kind of similar to, um, uh, uh, The Wolf Among Us, the, the Telltale game. Why are you barking? What are you barking? Go. Hey, yo, Chop, what's up? <laughs> uh, 
How long have you worked for Jim Thorpe? How long or have Tim you worked Thorpe? for Tim Thorpe? Say Almost Jim three Thorpe. years. And I hope it lasts. It's actually a really good game, though. It's made by the people that made, like, all the Yesterday series, which is, like, all story-driven games, too. But I think they're, like, point and, point and click. This game's pretty cool, though, because you get a lot of choices. Um, there's a lot of different, like, routes you can go. So even though, like, the art style is a little bit different, it's still, like, the core, like, story and everything is pretty good. Uh, I actually really, really enjoy playing through this. Uh, I can't remember my first the date of my first appointment. Has anything happened? Has anything recently? odd happened at the agency lately? Not on my shift. Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting to say the least. A detective asking a lot of questions. I saw it um a while ago as a like I think it was on some game ranks video, and they were uh. Recommending Did he tell you it. how long it will take him to get here? So I put it on my wish list. Delano, it went so on sale like a month or two minutes? ago. So it depends I picked on it the up traffic. Then. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order the to music figure out how is much phenomenal. Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working. The acting on the case. is pretty good, and the but time frame remember. is pretty. You cool. wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I remember. Let me see. Like, I, I really like this game <laughs> a lot more than I was expecting to, honestly. October 13th. Lunch with the governor. Okay. What about the 14th? Yeah, it was definitely the 14th because that's my birthday. I was Benton. And Congressman Wallace. It turned the page. We can see all the people that he met with. Meeting with Dylan Rose and Oyster Rest. Turn flight. Right now we're trying to see, so we think that this guy might actually have been a, uh, a part of it. Your move scared me? What? <laughs> What'd I do? Oh, uh, like zooming in and out like this? That back check? What? Wait, what? Gunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention oh, that? This? This? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I just remembered something. I can see that. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, it was no. a, a mask. You don't have any appointments. It's Although, like the mask from I guess like I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's I door. I didn't realize okay. he was hanging up. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so, since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. <laughs> yeah, I, I made a joke yesterday, because they, because supposedly we have to wear mask, or all well, they're recommending you wear masks. Come to, on, Thorpe. If you go out and Tell stuff. Tell me there's a back door to your so office. So I put it on. I was like, all right, just got to go run to the store real quick. And I wore that. <laughs> I didn't actually go anywhere, but. If Weekly were here, I'd have to tie his hands behind his back. <laughs> oh, what if we use this thing? 
Black Sad, the genius. Is this his office? Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. Oh, this is the boardroom, I think. Gotta stay in shape. Oh, fuck, looks like Dwayne Johnson was a cat. Dude, right? <laughs> That's what I said. He's he's pretty like like big. I was not expecting the voice actor for this guy either, but I think he did like a really good job. There's a card on the table. These are like little collectors cards and stuff. So it's it's a lot of like investigation and things like that. So you're constantly like making picking up items trying to f see what clues you can find uh what other stuff that there is like revealing information. I better not use it it might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk they yeah, better not say anything Wilmington shoot club it touches on like world war ii and like veterans that return from world war ii surprisingly like it actually touches on like other subjects like not really politics, but like racism. Like there's people that don't like other like animals and stuff. It, it's actually like a pretty mature game. For, it's a bit strange to see no office happens. chair behind a desk. Literally the last scene, the desk's owner two people burned alive. And like we kind of solved the case, but now we're finding some and other one information. One of the strengths, the accuracy of his throw. I earned a nickname, Iron Arm. I used to throw the ball in 50 ml, huh? And yeah, uh, went whatever it wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox. Mm -hmm. And I so I worked hard. Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. Uh, after losing a partner in combat, uh, a serious injury, I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army, and it was all thanks to my accuracy. No, it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many Americans that man saved with my arm. After these words, Tim Thorpe is moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how an athlete and soldier, a man whose aim Got and her. skill won mm. him a medal of honor and the nickname Surgeon among Jeffrey his brothers Sachs. in arms. That Spell Jeffrey. <laughs> right. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but they called Thorpe no. the surgeon for his excellent aim as a sniper. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why am I surprised? In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. All of those leads just perfect. And apart. you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. So, if we add in. Okay, we, well, we can make a deduction now. So, they called Thorpe the surgeon for his excellent aim as a sniper. The sniper killed Randall Lee, and... This panel blames everything on surgeon. No, okay. What a, okay, let's try. What if Tim Thorpe... There's that. And then what about this one? Okay, no. Maybe this one? And... Or can... No. Oh, wait. One of Dunn's brothers tried to pass as the Oz doctor. This. No. Surgeon, that what? How does that not combine? Banner plays everything on the surgeon. This, okay. What about this one? And span, okay. And this. No.
There we go. That's it. Thorpe is the man behind the whole drug operation. Is he though? A, a sniper killed Randall Lee. Thorpe is the mastermind behind the operation. No. What if I just combine these two? Ah, but these combine with something. What was involved? Oh my gosh. Okay, it helps them. Oh, wait. Thorpe can't walk. And then what if we use this one? A sniper. Wait, wait, hold up. Sniper killed. That. Okay, maybe not. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, so those two aren't tied together. I think of Telltale Games, to be honest, I don't think of this. Yeah, you probably think of like Walking Dead and things like that. I mean, like this is uh, this game I would say closest to is um, A Wolf Among Us, which is a great game, kind of similar, like fairy tales and all. But instead, this is um, Walking Dead too. Yeah, yeah, that's just like basic com conversations and and like different choices. But this part is a little bit different. Um, since we're trying to solve a case, we have to try to put these together. So Thorpe is a mastermind beyond the athlete. Oh, but, oh wait, we don't even have one, do we? Wait, do we have a deduction to make? Oh, we don't even have one. It was just showing us that. Uh oh. Now search the drawers. And there it is, boss. Oh crap. And there's a gun. Of course. Well that's sure evidence right there. It literally says boss. It doesn't even have a a thing that says Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Where is the one that says... Wait, what if Groon's drugs helped Thorpe walk? The drugs helped Thorn walk. No. No. My gosh. Sniper.
sniper, this, and that. Oh, come on, dude. There's at least one. Okay. Surgeon. That. Sniper. And pills. Okay. This. Sniper. And drugs. Of course. It wasn't Mitchell or Gil. It was Thorpe who shot Randall at the hospital. Everything adds up now. And yet I can already hear Smirnov telling me I have no conclusive evidence. What if I set a trap for Thorpe? But how? Oh, God. They called him the Thurgeon for being an excellent sniper. I have to lure him into a trap. If they help him walk, what if that's what? Ah, oh, man. Like some of these beforehand, this was like so easy. Like you just select two and it's like, oh, okay. Shoot. Wait, that? Ha! What if I place Thorpe's gun up there and corner him so that he has to stand up to get it? about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. Oh boy. <laughs> Stop it. The guy that we trusted the very most. Don't you know who you're <laughs> dealing with, matey? What a silly man. Mountainy! You want to be shark bait, do you? <laughs> Black set. I feel terrible for keeping you waiting. John. Uh, but you see, there was mutiny on board, so... Uh, Stop. <laughs> uh, you see what I have to put up? Fasa. All right, gentlemen, to the cabin with you. Onward. Uh, yeah, I can't. Come then. along, Blackside. Julie, don't let anyone <laughs> bother us. Like, oh boy, you're about to find this out the hard way. Honey, will you wait in the boardroom for me, please? But... I'll just be a minute then. I think you've already suffered enough. Okay. And think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? Oh. You see, I'm not going to pay you for solving the case. But you're a man of your word. Wow. I thought you were the kind of man who was true to his word. <laughs> no, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. 
Two days ago, she wanted to end yeah, it what's all. Yeah, going on, Pat? Drop out of college. Sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps Pat, not it's basically completely. a telltale game. It takes time to get over something like this. <laughs> but at least... But you play as a cat you, who is a detective. Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. Somebody else came I'm in gonna earlier help her make asking Dunn's the same gym thing. the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot, and honestly, and it's actually I wasn't really sure good. Make it. The story well, is very good. Yet. The choices that you get time. to make, there's anyway, a lot of different options. Back to the case. And all those people you It's kind of kind of is, Gil, but it's its doctor, own thing. Even Mitchell. Huh. I would have never suspected The best him. thing to relate did it to is the wolf anything? among us. Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? Say they this. did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? You have uh, any idea who that could be? Time to accuse him. A journalist told me. Ring a bell? Boss. It's actually very dark, too. Like, a lot of people kind of die. I, I'm sure you've got good intentions, but you're wrong. What makes you think that? I, I'm sure there's an explanation. I know Mitchell gave them to Don't you. Don't deny it. I know Mitchell gave them to you. <laughs> People I haven't see seen a wheelchair and think, also, Pat, poor thanks guy, for the resub. he can't walk. But <laughs> there's see, so much more to it I, than that. It didn't go off. Some nights I can't even sleep from the pain. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me you knew about those If you refresh, does the way you share it? I know that you are a highly skilled sniper. Black Share Black Sad shot again. That's weird. at the hospital. Have you seen me, Black Sad? How could I possibly do that? I hired you to solve this damn case. You think that's what a murderer would do? Only because you thought I'd blame Bobby Yale and drop the case. But as soon as I realized something wasn't right, Perfect. you sent Randall Lee and Perfect. Gil to give me a scare. And Thank when all that much. failed, Old you ordered Lee to kill me. We got you now. You're the type that will open his jaws once he's got his prey, aren't you? Nope, nope. Never. You're right. I never let go of my prey. We got him now, boys. Thank you very much, Pat. Yeah, Pat, thank you for this resub. And there he goes. <laughs> now I regret it. <laughs> Pat, thank you, though. So pretty much what we found Put out. Put yourself in my place for a minute. There's a lot of stuff that happens. This guy was You're like the most pure out of all of them. Who just got back from but the war. It seems like but he uh, still a nobody. Got the a man you dark saved side. kindly opens his house to you, and that man is still undone by his wife's passing. He works all day. I actually really gym. recommend this game. And he drinks himself. Especially to sleep anybody that night. likes telltale games. So you practically end up raising his daughter. You give her her very first abacus. You encourage her to further her education. The acting is pretty good you too. You comfort her. And there's a lot of she gameplay mother mechanics and her in father. certain missions. Meanwhile, Quick your time sporting events, career too. takes off. Life is good. Until one day, out of the blue, an accident cripples you. An old friend. It, Mitchell, it went on sale. Tells you he knows someone who can help you. It's like a $40 game, I think, but it went doctor. on sale for like 21 His drugs like a month take or two ago. To work, but, and it was uh, higher up on my uh, wish list. So I ended up picking it up then. You managed and I wanted to, to play one more game before I start the Metro series. Little so by this worked little. out perfectly. And those bursts keep getting longer. But the drugs aren't cheap at all. 
So you have to find a way to pay for them, don't you see? And it's only like a, a 10 hour game or so. So you started by selling drugs to athletes. Then you decided to start an advertising agency to hire those same athletes. Drugs would help them excel and you'd get better ad deals. The perfect business model. Your first client, Craig Spano. His career had hit a rough patch, so. You decided to help him, you used him as your guinea pig. He was the guinea pig for your new operation. And yet, when the drugs started having serious side effects, you got rid of him. Afraid he would talk, you tried to kill him. That's why he hid. From then on, your business was smooth sailing. You even began to think you were above the law. You thought that you were untouchable. Until Joe Dunn found out, and then, two days before his unfortunate death, he came to see you. That's enough now! You stop it! <sighs> Gonna play season three of COD. Backlot is pretty much coming back. COD now, format. I don't know if I'm above the law. I remember that, man. I've been playing a but little I bit of it, sure though. I might play some beneath. after after this. Do you know how much power like I Like an hour have? or so. The kind of people I eat with every day. I could shoot you right now, and nothing would happen to me. I've been trying to level with up that all, gun all you my keep weapons, in your drawer? too. I'm afraid not. I placed your pistol out of reach. Just case in case solved. you happen to confirm my suspicions, Iron Arm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment with the police. You can't stand up. I won't let anyone wreck my life again. Sonia and I, we deserve a future. You can come in now, Smirnoff. Timothy Wilson Thorpe, drop your weapon. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford one. The state will provide one for you. <laughs> Mr. Thorpe. Oh. What? <laughs> she shot in. Oh, snap. <laughs> Thorpe murdered by Sonya Dunn. Sonya Dunn is the daughter of, uh... No! No! Ah, shit. No! <gasps> No. Redo, redo, redo it. <laughs> Please don't tell me I have to go through that entire thing, though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Okay, we saw that. We saw it. We saw what happens. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm not going through this all over again. If that ha if that's what's it, so be it. So be it. In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking oh. the rules. There would be justice. For Sonya. Wait, what? That shows the room right there. That's right there.
It should just drop us in right in the. In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. Oh my god. It puts us all the way back to here? What? That makes no sense. If you're going to show this conversation, if I hit enter, it should take me to the point of where he takes out the gun. And if I press this one, then it should take me to where he was just at. This is what you deserve? Fine. Alright, well, we're going to just play from this one then. I don't really have a choice. And the, the worst is you can't skip anything. Don't you know who you're dealing with? So you're, we're stuck with this. Man. Oh my god. Today, you want to be sharp, I have to go through that long you? conversation again. I feel terrible for keeping you waiting. John. Uh, but you see, there was mutiny on board, so... Dude, at this rate, I would have just... Uh, if I knew this was going to happen, I would have just kept it my option. What happened? What up with all right, councilman, to the cabin with you. Onward. Time to get some water, <laughs> yeah, I can. right? Come along, Black Sad. Julie, don't let anyone bother us. I'm good on water. Oh my gosh. Honey, will you wait in the boardroom for me, please? But I'll just be a minute then. I think you've already suffered enough. Okay. And think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? <gasps> you see, I'm not gonna pay you for solving the case. I'll see you in court. All right then, I guess I'll see you in court. <laughs> no, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. Two days ago, she wanted to end it all. Drop out of college, sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps not completely. It takes time to get over something like this. But at least, thanks to you, Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. I'm going to help her make Dunn's gym the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot. And honestly, I wasn't sure she'd make it. Well, she hasn't just yet. But she will in time. Anyway, back to the case. All those people you confronted. Gil, the German doctor, even Mitchell. Huh. <laughs> I would have never suspected him. Did they say anything? Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? They did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? You have surgeon? any idea who that could be? Hello there. A journalist told me. Ring a bell? Us. I... I'm sure you've got good intentions, but you're wrong. What makes you think that? I, I'm sure there's an explanation. I know that you are a highly skilled sniper. And I think it was you who shot Randall Lee at the hospital. Have you seen me, Black Sad? How could I possibly do that? Don't deny it. I know Mitchell gave them to you. <laughs> People see a wheelchair and think, poor guy, he can't walk. But there's so much more to it than that. Some nights I can't even sleep from the pain. That doesn't explain why you didn't Black tell Sad. me you yeah, knew it's about John these Black drugs. Sad. I hired you to solve this damn case. You think that's what a murderer would do? Only because you thought I'd blame Bobby Yale and drop the case. 
But as soon as I realized Basically, something wasn't right, he gets hired you sent by the Randall daughter Lee and Gil to give me a scare. And when all that failed, I, you ordered Lee to kill an me. owner of the gym, which is the girl in the other room. You're the type that won't open his jaws once he has found prey, murder. You? The guy that was part of the gym. Uh, You're right. I he never was found murdered in the gym, and then you find out it was this whole thing about drugs and athletes and stuff, and then this came into play. And just when you thought this case was solved, turns out, not so Put much. Put yourself in my place for a minute. You're a promising football player. Right, this is where he goes on his just long, got long back rants. I'm going to run to the bathroom real but quick. But you're still a nobody. The man you saved kindly opens his house to you. And that man is still undone by his wife's passing. He works all day at his gym, and he drinks himself to sleep at night. So you practically end up raising his daughter. You give her her very first abacus. You encourage her to further her education. You comfort her when she misses her mother and her father. Meanwhile, your sporting career takes off. Life is good. Until one day, out of the blue, an accident cripples you. An old friend, Mitchell, tells you he knows someone who can help you. A German doctor. His drugs take some time to work, but uh, they do wonders. You manage to walk for short bursts at a time, little by little. And those bursts keep getting longer. But all right, the Pat. drugs aren't Sounds cheap good. at all. Thanks for stopping by, man. So Thanks you have yourself. to find a way always, appreciate to it. pay for them. I'll be on. I'll play see? some uh, Call of Duty for a little if you want to play once this is over. Oh, wow, perfect timing. So you started by selling drugs to athletes. Then you decided to start an advertising agency to hire those same athletes. Drugs would help them excel, and you'd get better ad deals. The perfect business model. Your first client, Craig Spano. His career had hit a rough patch, so... Used him as your guinea pig. He was the guinea pig for your new operation. And yet, when the drugs started having serious side effects, you got rid of him, afraid he would talk. You tried to kill him. That's why he hid. From then on, your business was smooth sailing. You even began to think you were above the law. You thought that you were untouchable. Until Joe Dunn found out, and then, two days before his unfortunate death, he came to see you. That's enough now! You stop it! <sighs> Angry Mufasa. Now, I don't know if I'm above the law, but I am sure as hell not beneath it. Do you know how uh... much power I have? The kind of people I eat with every day? I could shoot you right now, and nothing would happen to me. With that gun you sure. keep in your drawer? I'm afraid not. I placed your pistol out of reach, just in case you happen to confirm my suspicions, Iron Arm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment with the police. Here we go. I won't let anyone wreck my life again. Sonia and I, we deserve a future. You can come in now, Smirnoff. Timothy Wilson Thorpe, drop Got your him. weapon. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. <coughs> Mr. Click, Thorpe. Click, click, Bang. Oh. 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 
Straight to the heart. Murder by Sonya Dunn. Sonia Dunn, you are under arrest for the death of Timothy Wilson Thorpe. Oof. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Just shut up. Sonya should never set foot in jail. Black said, don't. Uh. Put yourself in her place. One of the only two people you love in this world kills the other out of sheer greed. Isn't that enough to drive you mad? No, there's no way this could work. How do we hide this? John? You to save me. I'll put the bullets back in the gun. Thorpe had me at gunpoint, but Sonya was faster. We did have the right a gun, thing, Chief. John, That's true. why do I end up getting my hands dirty every time I'm close to you? Your scheming will save Sonya. I mean, he did have a gun and she shot first, so technically, she didn't know that it was, wasn't loaded, unloaded. Lane J done. Joseph R done. Bobby Yale. Mary D. Purnell. Yep. Madison After Square everything Garden. that had happened, the last thing I was interested in was the fight. Did Yale take drugs before the fight? Did Stone let him win? I had done everything in my power for things to go the way my moral compass dictated. Whether anyone would listen to me, that was another story. Makes me want to watch Rocky. Because no matter what they tell us, our actions don't always determine our future. My moral compass. As if I even knew what that means. I didn't even know what to think of my performance throughout the case. Did I have a clear conscience? Would I have made the same decisions, given the chance? Yeah. motion and the credits roll that's actually a fantastic game. I highly highly recommend it um, I really enjoyed it a lot more than I was expecting to 
definitely anybody interested in the style of games of Telltale or anything uh, similar to that, story driven, story choices, even just the time century of it, like the Noir, it's, it's really good. I think it was probably one of the better games I've played in a while. It had me interested the entire time. I think the acting was really good. Um, I liked how they added in like some gameplay mechanics here and there. I think overall they did a very good job. And uh, I, I hope that one day we get a, a, a second one because honestly, they, it was really good storytelling. Um, I'm definitely gonna write a review on Steam. So I'll probably do that, and then uh, um, I want to check out their other games. I've had them in my wish list for quite a while, like the Yesterday series, but I just never played any of them. Um, but yeah, so real quick, I'm actually going to take a quick break, and then we'll probably play Call of Duty for a little bit, and then go from there. So I will be right back. I'm going to let the credits play and uh, just put it on the credits rolling. So, BRB. Uh, this one. 